Hey guys, Log here, and if you saw my boosted board review, you know I was able to get some pretty smooth footage while walking around and filming my dad on the boosted board. The thing that allowed me to get that footage was this little device, and it's called the Glidegear DNA 2020. The stabilizer comes with a case, some extra weights, some screws, and three Allen wrenches. So the stabilizer uses this gimbal design to allow your hand to move independently from the actual camera, but still maintain control so that you can direct the camera where you want it to go. The point is to balance the top and the bottom with the correct weight so that when you move your hand, the stabilizer stays completely stable and doesn't shake. At the top is a platform where you mount the camera with multiple holes to balance it correctly. There are four screws on the side that allow the camera to move forwards and backwards for balance adjustment and four screws underneath that allow it to move side to side for even more balance adjustment. The screws are kind of hard to turn because the handle is plastic and it's just not really grippy at all and I'm really not too impressed with the build quality overall of the entire unit. A lot of it is plastic and it just doesn't feel that premium. Moving down we can see a shaft that connects the entire stabilizer and along that is the gimbal which I talked about before. It's smooth and works super well. Attached to that is a handle which is pretty comfortable. Anyways, the shaft is extendable to let you adjust the weight and thus balance the camera better. At the bottom is a platform that you can extend using the same two screws and add more weight on to balance the camera. At first, balancing the camera is pretty hard and it takes some good time. I'd say 15 minutes just to get everything set up. I'm not going to go into detail about how to balance it because there are a lot of videos online already. Basically, you just adjust the camera on top back and forth, left and right, extend or retract the shaft to get the weight on top and bottom correct. And then you add weights if the top is too heavy and remove if the opposite occurs. It sounds daunting, but it's really not that hard after you get used to it. It's just time consuming. After you've balanced the stabilizer, it's pretty nice to use. It works smoothly, but I did notice that the clamp is loose and allows the bottom portion of the shaft to spin around if you accidentally touch it, and that can be a problem sometimes. Also, I did notice it wanting to rotate to certain positions sometimes, like rotating to the left even though I'm keeping it completely still, but most of the time that wasn't a problem. The shots you can get with this are really good. They're stable and if you master the art of using it, you can get some really good looking shots. 80% of it is just practicing using the stabilizer and the actual operator behind it, and 20% is the actual equipment. But for that 20%, I think the DNA 2020 does a great job. It does what it's supposed to do and nothing more. The footage is smooth, you can move around without shaky footage, and with this tool, I can get some really cool shots. In conclusion, the DNA 2020 doesn't have the best build quality, doesn't have the best design, doesn't have the best ease of use, but considering the closest competitor costs twice as much, if you really need to save some bucks, i definitely go with the DNA 2020. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.